What's the difference between these two photos? It's a little thing called the composition. If you don't really know what that is, let me break it down for you. So I'm here at the dog park. I'm here with my friend Joe and he's just chilling with his dog, Nana. And so I'm just taking a few pics, chilling with him. We're gonna go head off to the auto show. <laughs> you have to be conscious of the composition. So it's really all in the depth, it's all in the emotion, it's all in the, in, it's all in the story. But most importantly, it's all in the composition. How you frame the photograph, how you place the characters in the story, in the photograph. And, and that's what uh, essentially makes a great photograph. Oh, good girl. Oh, you just missed it. I got it. Oh. <laughs> good girl, Nana. Sit. 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 Well, you might be thinking, well, that's a lot of random new information, and how the hell does that make me take better photos? Well, let me break it down. So while we were at uh, the dog park with Joe and Nana, uh, I took a couple of photos and I want to show you these examples. The difference between portrait and story. Portraits are usually used for a very specific purpose, like here I am at my wedding, here's my wife or her husband, or here's my face so you know what I look like when you're doing my interview, or things like that. Something very emphasized. Of course, you could take it in an artistic route and make it really interesting and cool depending on what's in the background and what that person's doing, stuff like that, the emotion on their face. If you want to tell a story, you got to have depth, uh, literally sometimes. Like for example, like I'm on a beach, look at all this space behind me, look at all this water and sand and shit, look at the sky, depth, literally depth. Or it could just be a few feet away, someone's like just got hit by a car and here I am like reacting to it like story. You can't really get that from getting a straight portrait shot of my face. The difference between portrait and story is emphasis. So Nana, for example, the emphasis is just that there's this dog here on the snow. Um, with the story photo, the emphasis is that there's a dog in the snow in a park longing to have a ball which was taken from a different dog. So there's a lot to tell, there's a lot to say with that type of photograph. There's a lot more depth, literally and metaphorically. And it really depends on what kind of photo you want to take, what kind of story you want to tell. Both have legitimate reasons for, for their use, but it's, a, it's just a matter of what kind of photos you want to take. Which brings me to my next topic. Um, hey guys, we just got here at the auto show. Going up the escalator. Hopefully we get some good pictures, good videos, uh, and some good talk content for you guys to learn something, get some value. See you later. <laughs> no problem. What I want to talk about is Garula Thirds. Uh, as you can see in the back, there's like a imaginary grid, which is called the Rule of Thirds. Um, you have to imagine this grid, 3x3 three three grid, and you have to kind of abide by it in terms of your focal point. And uh, you got to put your focal point at one of the corners of the grid. You might be thinking, well, that's a lot of random new information and how do I take better photographs because of this rule of thirds? Well, let me break it down. So let's imagine in this frame right here that there's a grid. 
one, two, three, four. So it's a three by three grid. Where did I put myself? Where did I put my face? I put my face at like somewhere around the top right corner. And I want that to be the focal point because I want you to pay attention to me. But at the same time, I want you to afterwards think about where am I? Where did he decide to place his tripod? As well as I knew that, you know, I'm gonna put photos right here. So I wanted space here. That will be something that you have to look at afterwards. The rule of thirds is really about understanding where your focal point is. Uh, and a focal point is literally like what your eyes look at when you look at the shot, when you look at a painting, when you look at a video, when you look at someone's clothes or something. Whatever your eyes look at is a focal point. And the rule of thirds helps you decide the hierarchy of that focal point. So Nana in this photo is the first tier hierarchy of focal points because you look at her first. You look at the other dog second, you look at everything else third. You kind of have to keep in mind those types of things and the more you do it, the more you don't even think about it anymore. You just kind of know that you put this subject or this character here, you put this other character here, blah, blah, blah. I'm A12T, at A12T, you can find me on Instagram. If you like the vlog, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell button, whatever button. And uh, if you have questions, I urge you to ask them in the comment box, DM me, whatever. I'm planning to release a new vlog every week at least. So if you subscribe, look forward to seeing a new video next week about another fundamental technique about photography. See you next time.